Welcome to Summon Awesome Games. Good looking people. I'm Rob and we are playing Disney Infinity 3.0. We're going to check out Time from Alice through the Looking Glass. Look at this guy. This guy is Borat. He's, he is Borat. Uh, but the crazy thing about Time, he has a lot going on. A lot going on. He's a very interesting character. Let's get into the skill tree and see what I like and what I don't like about this man. Increases times, maximum health. Allows character recovery midair by tapping A. So we've got midair recovery. Super jump or leap here unlocks time's super jump ability. Now we got all the extra health and the revive time abilities. Pretty much the same. This is pretty much exactly the same as we've gone with all the Alice characters. Whoops, we don't want to see that just yet. Time's special ability. Time warp. Time jumps into the chronosphere and creates a time warp tunnel which swallows all nearby enemies and simultaneously deals massive damage. And then we've got increases the damage caused by Time's Time Warp attack and the Pendulum Swing. Time attacks his opponents with a swing from the clock pendulum. Hold X at the end of a combo when an opponent is hit. Then we've increased the frequency in which we can use it and the damage of our Time Warp attack. And how many we can have, and how quickly we can refill it, and then there's more damage, and more refills, and blah blah blah. Melee skills! Alright, melee skills. Increases damage. Adds an additional attack to our melee combo. Increase the damage. Pressed for time. Careful timing of your dodges will create a time dilation effect that slows down your opponent. Time to press of left stick plus B, so we have to dodge. And then we can... Finish up the dodge with pushing Y. The clock strikes. Time attacks an opponent with his scepter. Press Y after a successful press for time. So we'll try and pull that off. That's gonna be that's gonna be the one that gets me. I know it. Basic combo. Y. Then we wait. Then we Y Y Y. High time attack and add extra aerial combo attack. Timely deflect so we can we can dodge, or we can just time our deflect and do that. And there's a damage up the top. But I ran out of points, guys. Where Increases the damage caused by Time's ranged attack. Time throws a piece of his pendant, which damages and momentarily freezes in time multiple enemies in the surrounding area. We can hold that one down. That's our charge up. This one basically does that, but this one gets multiple enemies. Reduces the time it takes to charge the time bomb. And then we're going with that again. And then there's damage. And damage. Oh no, let's increase the area. There's damage here. This increases the area of effect with the time bomb. We've got two of those. And what is time? Time, the immortal guardian of all time who possesses the chronosphere. A mystical time travel device that has the power to change Underland forever. Ah, see, I know nothing about this guy because I'm not going to see that movie. But Super Jump and Marksman. Ta-da. So let's try and pull some of these things off. So basic combo. Beat down city there. Look at him go. Look at him go. Get his scepter. He loves it. Super jump. And this is his aerial. And he gets the extra move at the end there. Ground pound. Ta-da. Very basic. Uh, this is your up attack. If you hold down Y, you'll do that. Knock people in the air. X. X. He has one of the best X moves. Goes like that. And everyone freezes in the air. It's very cool. Basic dodges. We'll do, don't worry. You'll see it. You'll see it when we play people. He dodges on little cogs or clock wheels. Whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them cogs. Super jump. This is his this is his range attack. It takes forever to come back. So once he raises his hand, just like the hammer, Thor's hammer, you gotta wait for it to return to you. Then you can charge this bad boy up, make a big area, and freeze a whole bunch of people. That one comes back quicker. I'll probably I'll probably just use that one. Or it just seems like it comes back quicker. Probably much more effective. So right, let's let's get let's get beat down. So let's, let's get the fighting going on. We don't want that menu, you fool, you amateur. Let's drop in some uh, clone troopers. Scout. Let's drop in a couple of scout troopers here. We'll drop in three of them. Or four of them. Because maths is hard for me. Here. See, look at that. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good aim. There we go. Got him again. Froze that guy. So this is our, that's our charge one. So we charge it up. We go like that. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Someone wants to get finished. Alright. Don't throw the thermal, man. Don't throw the thermal detonators. How about you, buddy? How about you? You gonna let me do my finisher? It's much easier to do the finisher with time. There we go. There's the pendulum swings. A 
copping it in the face there. Because he only has three. When we were doing the Mad Hatter, it was like impossible to do. Because he had so many. Uh, our special combo. We send out all these little uh, clock things. I don't know what they are. God knows. Who? Just little, I don't know, little clocks. And they love running. They're not very fast, but they love it. Let's do our, our special move. Your faith is in the hands of time. Oh, you're so I'm gone, buddy. The time of my life. Let's see how many people we can can do that to. Let's just drop in a whole bunch of them. And then we got to do some timed counterattacks. Here we go. All right, fellas. All right, you guys ready? You ready? Let's go. Oh, oh, that gets them all. It's going to be a sea of death here. If they if they died, it would have been a sea of death. Here, check this out. How cool is that? That's just his next move. So if you ever go one-on-one -on -one with a friend, I want a guy who can pretty much destroy them. This is it. This, this will annoy your friend. Just being near them and pushing X will frustrate them. If they're a ranged character, they're probably going to kick your butt. But, if they're not a ranged character, then you're pretty good. Alright, we need a melee guy. We need a guy who can who will physically attack us. Get out of here, man. I see your boat. Oh, alright. Let's get a guy who will melee us. So we can do our time to counters. Who's a guy who likes a punch? You look like a puncher. Let's get you in here, Tuscan Raider. You ready, buddy? Let's do it. Oh, you, you do it. You're a, you're a charge up kind of guy. I really hate the charge up kind of guys. There we go. Look at that. Alright, so now we're going to do the dodge. Counter! No, that's not the counter. I'm sorry. You know I'm terrible at this. After all the years we've been doing this, you should know by now that I'm really bad at this. We got it! What? I'm not even going to tell you how many times I tried to do that. Uh, maybe it's not worth doing. Let's just say that. If it took that long to do, maybe you can forget it. Alright, well that is time. Timely Tilly Dime. The little man with the hat and the clock pendant thing. And he's in that movie that's probably awful. But here he is in the game. Two more characters to go. Don't worry, they'll be, they'll be better than this. So, <laughs> we'll put some love into that. I really... It, it's time. Who the hell is this guy? 